Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at how to add reaction roles to your Discord server using the Zyra bot. So first things first, what you want to do is actually add the bot to your Discord server. So you go to Zyra.gg and you either click invite or add to server. They both go to the same link and as long as you're logged into your Discord account, as we see here, it will come up to this page where you can um, link it to one of your servers, either one you own or one you have administrator powers in, so you're like a mod in it. Um, so hopefully you're seeing your account and you know, not my account, you know, hopefully not. Um, and then if it's not you, obviously click this button here. But if, if it's all good and it's your account here, you want to then add to a server. So I want to add it to the bean room as we made a server just for this video. So let's click that, continue. And then you just want to have this all ticked because you want this to be able to take control of your server and be able to assign the roles. So just have all this here um, ticked, authorize it. Click the I am a human because I believe hopefully you are a human. Authorized, lovely. Now we can close the window or tab. So now as you see, Zero has been added to the server. Uh, we hope you brought pizza, don't we all? Um, so the bots here, as you see, there's even a bot icon, a verified bot as well on the side on the roster page. So just me and the bot at the moment. Uh, so let's get into the next step now. So of course, if you want to actually assign people roles, you will need some roles available to be assigned. So let's create some. So we have uh, in our settings here, roles. Then if you click the plus sign, create role. Let's just create some random roles like toast. Let's just make that green. We'll do about three, that would be a good number. Uh, to I don't know, apple. Let's make that I don't know, red, lovely, save changes. And we'll do one more. Let's do I don't know, lemon, lovely. And we'll just make that yellow, great. So we've got three roles now, which we're gonna use within the bot setup and we'll go show you how you actually can set that up so people can click on an emoji and they get the role from there. So now you have a couple of roles set up. What I recommend doing is actually creating a channel for this bot to go in so it's all in one place. So I recommend just clicking create channel here and then do a private channel so it's just for you and your admins um, and just call it a bot setup and then you got that sorted. And then what we want to do of course is have the bot as part of this channel. So next up, we're actually gonna go through the step-by-step -step process of adding this to your server. So we'll add another channel, which won't be private. This will just be a text channel. We'll just call this roles assign. So this will be where people go within your server to get the roles. So we have both our channels sorted out. We have our roles created. We're now ready to actually go through the step-by-step -step process of making these roles reactionary. So let's go into the bot setup channel and we type this Z slash channel or Z for some people and then enter and then you'll see the bot actually respond to you which is great news. Um, and once you see that you have to put in the channel you want to the bot to use going forward. So we want this one we created for that reason. So we put in hashtag R and there, there is, comes up roles assigned. Click enter and it should come up with a success tick. Lovely jubbly, we've done it. That channel will now be used for the roles assigning going forward. So the next step is now that we've got our channel sorted out, we need a message to form the basis of all this. So we now put in Z or Z and slash message, enter. And the bot will respond, that's always a good sign. The bot will respond saying what message we need to put in. So we now need to put in our three roles. So we have toast and I'll put a dash there and we'll put in uh, red. I do not think there's actually a toast emoji, unfortunately. Then shift enter to go down one. And then we'll put apple. And I'm pretty sure there is an apple emoji for that. There we go, we've got green or red, we'll go red. And then shift enter again, and we'll go for the lemon one. And the most likely is a lemon one, hopefully. Is there one? Yeah, there is, there we go. So that's our message. So if you click enter now, message is set. So if you go in that channel, actually, you'll see it. There it is, the bot's there with the message, so that's all good. So 
the second step's done. Lovely, let's move on to the last one. So now that that message is in the channel, the only thing we have to do is connect the role with the emoji. How do we do that? We have to do another command, which is Z or Z and then slash add. And then we want to put the emoji first. So we'll do bread for toast. And then we'll put at toast and enter. There we go. So that role at toast has been added with the emoji bread. Okay. So now that role has been selected here. So you see people can now click on this. If I click that, I actually now have the roll toast. So that one works, lovely. But we want it to work with all three of them, right? So let's go back to the bot setup. Exactly the same again. Z slash add, get the emoji. So the next one down is apple. So let's get apple in there. There we go. And then we want that to be for the roll apple. Enter that one. Lovely success again. While we're here, we'll do the other one as well. Z slash add, we want the emoji so lemon there we go and then the roll which of course is lemon enter lovely now that's it go to rolls assign let's click apple let's click lemon we should have all three we do we have all three now lovely lovely jolly so hopefully this guide has helped you add reactionary roles into your discord server however if it has not and you do come across some issues feel free to drop a comment below and i'll happily help you when I can. But if everything did go well, please do drop it a like um, and please do subscribe for more as I will be getting more videos out very soon. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.